A question that gets asked a bit more often than you might think necessary is, are Germans taught in history classes about the Third Reich? And if so, what are they taught? But actually, it's not a stupid question. You normally expect a country's school system to put a positive spin on that country's history, but what if that history includes something as objectively evil as Hitler? Do you pretend it didn't happen? or try to justify it. Well, Germany didn't do either of those things and instead opted to openly admit that this very bad thing happened. Now, it's important to say at this point that different individuals' experiences will vary. Not every German will have had exactly the same history lessons. But, generally speaking, German school students are taught a great deal about the Nazis. The Nazi regime didn't just end in humiliation. It ended in the near destruction of Germany itself, with over a million civilians killed, in addition to the several millions that had already been executed in death camps. Entire cities were left in smoking ruins, reduced to piles of rubble. Germany was determined that this should never be allowed to happen again. So, school history classes teach students that the Nazi regime, with its hateful propaganda, turned Germany into a totalitarian dictatorship, murdered millions of its own citizens, and provoked a war. And this lesson isn't taught just once, it's taught several times, with more information being added as students become mature enough to process it. These lessons typically involve more than just reading textbooks. A wide range of materials are used, including the, the diary of Anne Frank and other eyewitness accounts and visits to museums and concentration camps. Survivors of the Holocaust might visit schools and give talks and question and answer sessions, although obviously now that that generation is dying out, it's becoming much more difficult to organise. The focus is usually on the rise of the Nazi regime, its historical context and causes. Germans can probably tell you quite a bit about the Great Depression and the Enabling Act, but maybe not quite so much about the Second World War itself, at least not in any great detail. The idea is that future generations of Germans should be able to spot the warning signs and take action before it's too late. It doesn't stop at school, of course. All over Germany are constant reminders of the horrors of the Nazi regime. There are museums, memorials, plaques, everything imaginable. If you grow up in Germany, there is no way you can be ignorant of the Nazis. But this approach doesn't come without its critics. Some worry that concentrating so much on one specific historical event might be giving Germans a distorted view of history, and it might even be making them ignorant of what's going on in other parts of the world. Even other events in German history might be ignored, or at least de-emphasised, which is not necessarily a good thing. For example, surely the Reformation and the following German Peasants' War have something important to say about the dangers of excessive political and religious power. There's also the more general concern that Germans are being taught to define their country in terms of its worst ever leader. All of that said, you have to remember just how destructive the Nazi regime was, as I explained earlier in the video. Confronting that past and acknowledging all the wrongs that were committed is probably the best approach to take. And while it is true that right-wing extremism exists in Germany and has even increased in the last 10 years or so, it hasn't reached the levels that it has in certain other European countries and it doesn't look to me as if it's going to grow very much further. Now, whether that's down to this policy or something else, I can't really say. But to summarise, yes, Germans are taught about the Nazi regime in great detail, and they are taught that it is a very dark chapter of German history which must never be repeated.